Hi everyone, welcome back to channel. Today we are putting two powerhouse MacBook Pros head to head. The MacBook M3 Pro on the right hand side versus the MacBook M4 Max on the left hand side over here. I'm also going to run a series of tests using Olama and various distilled DeepSeq R1 models from 1.5 billion parameter version all the way up to 32 billion parameter version models. In each case, I'll have the models generate a output and we'll compare the performance and output quality on both the machines. So let's first dive into the specs of these machines. On the right, we have MacBook M3 Pro, which is configured with 36 gigs of unified memory. It packs a CPU setup with a mix of performance and efficiency cores. And I think it's typically around six performance cores and six efficiency cores over here, giving it a 12 core CPU uh, package. Now on the graphics side, the M3 Pro usually comes with a GPU that depends on the configuration that we are choosing. In our configuration over here, we have a 18 core GPU in this machine. So this makes it more than capable for creative tasks um, and even for running some AI inference workloads, which is what we'll be taking a look at today. Now, on the left side over here, we have MacBook M4 Max. Now this model really steps things up with 48 gigs of unified memory, which is not only it provides an extra headroom for heavy multitasking and large projects, but it also benefits AI workloads, which demands more memory bandwidth. So in terms of CPU, the M4 Max is built with a higher core count. So you're looking at, based on the configuration, you know, up to 10 to 12 performance cores paired with four efficiency cores, right? So now pushing the total core count in this package to uh, 14 to 16. This is the top end model that I have. So we are looking at 16 cores over here. Now, in terms of GPU, this is where this machine really shines. So the M4 Max is equipped with significantly beefier graphic processor over here. So we have 40 cores of GPU in this machine as compared to 18 core GPU in the M3 Pro that we looked at. And you will see the performance difference based on these specs over here. So 40 cores delivers tremendous amount of power for rendering, creative work, and especially for what we are going to take a look today, AI inference. Right, so these upgrades in memory and graphics makes M4 Max an ideal candidate for heavy duty performance. But can M3 Max be your daily driver or not? That is what we'll take a look at today. So let's um, minimize all these over here and let's do what we are here for today, which is performance comparisons and benchmarking our DeepSeq models. So let's see what DeepSeq models we have on each of these machines. So we have uh, DeepSeq R1, 1.5 billion, 7 billion and 32 billion on both these machines over here. So what we're gonna do is run the 1.5 billion parameter first, ask both these systems the same question and see how many tokens per second we are getting out of it. Let's do that. All right, so both models are ready to, ready to be loaded in the machine. Let's hit enter. And let's ask both these models to generate an output over here. So I'm gonna just ask it, tell me uh, two paragraph story about Alice. And the same thing over here.
all right hitting enter on both at the same time and wow so m4 max is already done 171 tokens per second and m3 pro you can see is 85 tokens per second definitely a huge performance difference over here all right let's say bye to both of these models over here and let's run DeepSeek r17 billion parameter now so on the left hand side on m4 max just modifying the command to 7 billion same on the m3 pro on right hand side modifying the command to 7 billion loading both the parameters and asking the same question over here and same question all right hitting enter on both at the same time and there we go you can also see the memory pressure on both the machines at the bottom and they are generating the response over here so m4 max is already done and we can see M3 Pro is still finishing the output over here. It has done, it is done with its thinking part. And it is now getting the actual story out. So let's wait for it for a little bit and we'll have the response over here. It's definitely outputting more, <laughs> okay. All right, so we can see we have 26 tokens per second on M3 Pro versus 70 tokens per second on M4 Max over here. Definitely a performance difference that you can visualize. All right, let's say bye to both these models. And now let's do um, the same thing, but with 32 billion parameter model. And this is the max that we can load on these two machines over here. So, 32 billion verbose hit enter on both and let's do tell me a one paragraph about Alice and the same thing over here all right so I switched to one paragraph because 32 billion will take time hitting enter on both at the same time and let's see where it goes. Wow, so the M3 Pro somehow has loaded the model faster than M4 Max over here, interesting. But M4 Max is definitely competing over here. So M4 Max is done thinking and now it is writing its story. And it is 19 tokens per second over here for M4 Max. And M3 Pro is still thinking, probably overthinking over here. Definitely it thought way too much than it was supposed to. Okay, but we have a final story over here from M3 Pro as well. And this is awesome. So we have 6.5 tokens per second on the M3 Pro versus 19.46 tokens per second on M4 Max. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this deep dive comparison, please let me know if you wanna see any other differences between these two machines. I know it was a basic deep dive, just looking at tokens per second, but many times that is all that we are interested in. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.